a perk literally built for speed, returns once again in Black Ops Cold War. But is it worth running in the ultra-powerful Tier 3 perk slot of your class loadout? Gung Ho, coming up. Hey, what is going on, fellas? It's Favstar. Well, with the Tier 3 perk slot being absolutely dominated by Ghost and Ninja, I thought I would have a closer look at the mobility boosting abilities of the Gung Ho perk to possibly add some class variety. In today's video, we'll break down all of the benefits to see if the Gung Ho perk is worth running in your mobility based class loadout. So, what exactly does Gung Ho do? The in-game description describes the Gung Ho perk as the ability to fire weapons and use equipment while sprinting, move at full speed when reloading, switch weapons faster, take less damage when falling, and fire more accurately when sliding. As you can see, the Gung Ho perk offers a fairly long list of potential benefits, and while testing each of these benefits, I uncovered some interesting results. Let's jump into a private match and see how each of these benefits actually work. When it comes to weapon and equipment handling, the Gung Ho perk works exactly as stated in the description, and you'll be able to sprint at full speed while firing and reloading your weapon, as well as when throwing equipment. It's important to note that when sprinting, you'll be limited to hip fire only, and in addition, the Gung Ho perk won't reduce your sprint to fire time, and it will take the same amount of time to commence firing from a full sprint, with or without Gung Ho equipped. You'll get much more benefit when using a weapon class with a slow default shooting movement speed. When using an LMG, for example, you'll move 115% faster when firing your weapon with Gung Ho equipped. On the other end of the spectrum, with an SMG equipped, you'll only get a 60% speed increase to the default shooting movement speed. Although the speed movement multipliers seem quite high, it's not a huge benefit by any means, as the speed gain is only in effect while actually firing or reloading your weapon, or while throwing equipment. However, it can be advantageous when used with weapons that have slow reload times and can allow you to quickly relocate and reach your next position with your weapon reloaded. The next benefit we'll look at is fall damage. In Black Ops Cold War, the highest survivable fall damage height when you're at full health is 15 meters. This distance can be represented on the map Armada by jumping off the end railing and landing on the submarine. If you fall from any higher, you'll die. The in-game description tells us that with Gung Ho equipped, you'll take less damage from falling. In reality, with Gung Ho equipped, you'll take no fall damage whatsoever from any height. While this at first may seem like a fairly strong benefit, it's important to note that in Black Ops Cold War, you can simply deploy your chute when falling and take no damage whatsoever. Next, we'll take a quick look at weapon accuracy while sliding. After testing the sliding hipfire wall patterns of every weapon class, I was unable to see a clear benefit from having the Gung Ho perk equipped. The last and potentially the most useful benefit to cover is weapon swap time. To test this benefit, we'll measure the time required to swap to your secondary weapon and initiate firing. It's important to note that in Cold War, the weapon class that you are currently holding has no effect on weapon swap times. The only thing that matters is the class of weapon that you are swapping to. So swapping from an LMG to a pistol 
will take the exact same amount of time as swapping from an SMG to a pistol. Now that we've clarified how weapon swapping times work, let's examine some commonly used weapon swaps to see the benefits from the gung-ho perk. We'll start with the most common weapon swap, and that's swapping to a secondary pistol. The gung-ho perk provides a 50 millisecond advantage when swapping to a pistol. Let's look at another common weapon swap, and that's switching from a sniper rifle to a shotgun. As you can see here, by equipping the gung-ho perk, you'll gain a 150 millisecond advantage when swapping to a shotgun. To be completely thorough, we'll also take a look at the slowest weapon swap class, the launcher. The gung-ho perk will reduce launcher weapon swap time by 185 milliseconds. In summary, gung-ho will reduce weapon swapping times by about 16%. A very underwhelming statistic, and while this is somewhat noticeable when swapping to a launcher, the weapon swapping speed boost is barely noticeable when switching to a pistol or a shotgun, and is unlikely to turn the tables in very many situations. That completes my breakdown of the gung-ho perk, a dramatically underpowered perk that desperately needs a buff before it can even be considered as a replacement for either Ghost or Ninja in the Tier 3 perk slot. Of course, this is just my opinion, and I would love to hear from you guys. What is your opinion on the current state of the gung-ho perk? Is it balanced as is, or does it need a change? Let me know in the comment section down below, and if you enjoyed the video, remember to leave a like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.